810 now time for this morning's health watch this morning how weight affects breast cancer survival rates a study in the march issue of OBGYN news finds that overweight and obese women who are diagnosed with breast cancer have a worse prognosis than women at healthy weights our dr jennifer ashton is here this morning with more good morning good doctor. morning maggie so this was a, a, a big study 19,000 women over 30 years what did they find exactly and it came from the danish health registry and they keep excellent medical records so we really give it a lot of credibility actually they looked at women who were overweight, so those were the BMI or body mass index of 25 to 30, and found that they had a 26% increased risk of death 10 years after diagnosis. If you were obese, women with a BMI over 30, that risk jumped to 38% higher of dying 10 years after diagnosis. So these are women who have already been diagnosed with breast exactly. cancer. Exactly. As far as the risk for developing breast cancer, is there a, a relationship between fat tissue and breast cancer? There is, and we don't completely understand the reasons why. The thinking partially is that we know that body fat is a source of estrogen production, and we know that estrogen plays a role, not the complete role, but it plays a role in the diagnosis and risk for breast cancer. But the study also found some other things, Maggie. When they looked at these women, those who were overweight or obese tended to have tumors that were larger. They also had breast cancer that was more likely to have metastasized or spread to other parts of the body, and they had a 42 to 46 percent increased risk of that breast cancer recurring at a distant site over time. So this was, again, a significant finding. What about treatment, though? Once a woman has breast cancer, why would obesity play a role? Well, that's one of the other things that they, the researchers were starting to look at, because it's not clear whether obese or overweight women would require higher doses of things like chemotherapy. Also, many women with breast cancer are treated with radiation. It's not clear whether after radiation therapy for breast cancer, greater uh, fat tissue or obesity makes that less effective. All those things will need further study in the future. We always talk about prevention. Once again, isn't this a great time to reiterate the importance of choosing wisely when it comes to your lifestyle? Absolutely, and we hear it again and again. Things that are environmental or behavioral can dramatically reduce the risk of breast cancer by as much as 30%. So things like exercise, diet, things like breastfeeding, hugely important, not just in prevention, Maggie, as you said, but also now, according to this study, how you might do after your diagnosis. So those things are in your control. Definitely want to exploit them to your advantage. I remember us talking about that, that big story related to breast cancer when the task force recommended right. women cut back on mammograms. Is that, are there any new ways to detect breast cancer? You know, things are being studied. Things like MRI, especially in high-risk women with a genetic mutation like the BRCA mutation, getting more and more research, more and more study, is found to be more sensitive in those high-risk women for detecting breast cancer not just the initial one, but possibly the, the recurrence. And things like thermography, which looks at the metabolic activity or the blood flow changes in the breast, also getting more study. But right now, nothing that's taken the place of mammography yet. All right, Jen Ashton, thank you, you so bet, much. Thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.